Hello guys, Lifehackster here and today we are going to review and check out another 4K battery powered Wi-Fi security camera from Reolink. And this is the Reolink Argus Eco Ultra. Thank you Reolink for sending me this camera to be reviewed. By the way, I also reviewed the Reolink Argus 3 Ultra which is very similar to this camera spec wise and I will link it down below if you haven't seen it yet. I will make a separate video comparing these two because aside from the design, there are some differences. This Reolink Argos Eco Ultra records in 4K quality, 3840 by 2160 pixel resolution at 15 frames per second in daytime and 12 FPS in color night vision and also in infrared night vision. It has a 125 degree diagonal field of view, 105 degree horizontal and 55 degrees vertical. It has spotlights for color night vision, 6500 Kelvin color temperature, but Relink didn't state the lumen output. This is battery powered and has a built-in 21.6 watt hour rechargeable battery. Battery life will be based on your use, but this can also be hooked up with a solar panel to minimize or even eliminate recharging. This camera connects directly to your Wi-Fi and is dual band 2.4 or 5 gigahertz and has local storage so no subscription needed. And footages are stored in a separate microSD card and compatible up to a 128GB card. It has AI detection, people, vehicles, and pets. IP66 weather resistant and compatible with Google Assistant and Amazon Alex A. Inside the box, we have a quick start guide, mounting template, mounting screws, plastic anchors, and a push pin. We have a short USB-C cable to charge the camera. We have a strap if you want to install this around a pole or a tree branch. We have a metal mount and this is not a quarter 20 screw mount though. There is this metal piece if you want to use the strap. And we have the camera itself, bullet type design. We have the camera lens, PIR motion sensor, light sensor, mic and spotlights, and infrared LED surround. On the back is the screw and mount, which is not the standard quarter 20. So this will only work with the included mount. On the bottom, we have the speaker, a rubber flap that covers the microSD card slot and the reset button, and a separate rubber flap that covers the USB-C port to charge or to hook up the solar panel. Let's insert a microSD card and set this up. Open up the Reolink app, click the plus sign, scan the QR code which is on the side of the camera. Choose Wi-Fi not configured. And by the way, the camera after charging is already on. It can connect to either 2.4 or 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Type in your Wi-Fi's password. Scan now to generate a QR code that you need to show the camera. Connection Wait the until it is connected. Here. Create a device password. Name your device and it should be added to the app. For installation, screw in the mount using the three included screws and screw in the camera to the mount and adjust its position and tighten the collar to secure it in place. This camera can also be installed under the eaves or horizontal install. Let's check these settings in the app. When you open up the app, you will see a snapshot with a not connected icon on it. Click on it to get to live view, which loads up decently quick. In here, you can pause the live view, listen in, take a snapshot, record the live view, change the live view's quality, clear, balanced, or fluent. I usually keep this in balanced, and you can change to landscape mode. On the bottom, you can start two-way talk, which is full duplex, playback for the recorded events. And this is where you can download the footage to your phone. Make sure it is in high so that you will download it in clear or full resolution. Up here, you can manually trigger the siren, turn on the spotlight, and the gear icon for the camera settings. We have the battery life. In display and stream, you will see that this Eco Ultra is recording in 4K at 15 frames per second, which is the highest, and the bitrate defaults also to the highest setting. I'll also show you the shadows and brightness, which are adjustable because if you just set to auto, the shadows are going to be a little bit dark, and this is typical for Relinks. You'll be seeing later on the adjusted settings. There is also separate settings for the black and white infrared and color night vision. Privacy mask and you can add up to three privacy zones. As to the lights, we have the infrared LEDs, auto or off. And on the spotlight modes, it will turn on when it detects motion at night or turned off. There's no brightness adjustment. Motion sensor where you can adjust the sensitivity and on the detection alarm, you can set zones that you don't want to be notified about. And there is a separate setting for people, cars, and pets. And you can also adjust the sensitivity of the smart detection. 
and also different settings for each. Camera recording and you can schedule which events that will be recorded. It also has the post motion record for the camera to continue to record after the motion has stopped. And on the push notifications, you can also schedule which events you want to be notified about. And this can be different from the recording settings. And this is what I like about the Reolink app. You can dial in and customize the recordings and notifications. This also has a time-lapse feature, which I also recommend to at least hook up the camera to a solar panel because this feature drains battery life. Now time to do some testing. So this is the video and audio quality of the Argos Eco Ultra and video clarity test at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, So this is the uh, video quality of the Argos Eco Ultra at night and this with the spotlight turned on and this is what it looks like at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. So this is the video quality of the Relink Argos Eco Ultra at night and this has one, two, 8 infrared LEDs. And this is what it looks like at 10 feet and spotlight is off. 15, 20, 25, 30. We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Reolink Argos Eco Ultra. And I'm on my LTE connection and it is 245. Let's check it out. Status light is on. Nice. And we'll wait for the notification here. There you go. No rich notification on the real link, but when you click on it, it should go to live view. There you go. Mm, a little bit delay. All right, cool. 246. All right, so we just turned 247. It's less than a minute, well, around 30 seconds. So let's see what the notification cool off. Uh, status light is on, so I should be getting a notification here. There you go, just like that. We are going to test the maximum detection distance of the Relink Argos Eco Ultra, and I've set the uh, PIR sensor sensitivity to the highest and also uh, person detection only, and I've set that to 100 or to the highest. 40 feet, not at 40 feet. Let's go 35. not at wow <laughs> it detected me at 35 feet cool we'll see the recording see the live view right here yep right here in the shed all right so this time we're going to see how soon the argos eco ultra is going to start recording when motion is going towards it so this light is on i can see that Let's see how soon it did. Oh, cool. We'll I'll see on the recording. This is the audio quality coming out of the Relink Argos Eco Ultra. This is the audio quality coming out of the Relink Argos Eco Ultra. So, what do you think? Video quality is pretty good, but not as good as wired Reolink 4K cameras. This one is a bit more compressed. I like that Reolink added the shadows and brightness setting because Reolink cameras are usually dark in the shadows. Infrared black and white night vision is pretty good, but in color night vision, the spotlight is a bit too dark and not as bright for the camera sensor. It will need some supplemental lights, like I have several motion-activated lights in my backyard, which does improve its video quality. You will notice the lesser 12 FPS frame rate though. Its motion detection performance is also pretty good and better than the Argus 3 Ultra. And I will test these two cameras side by side in a future video. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.